Good morning, brothers and sisters, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come here during this morning, book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 26 to 28. Here we see Peter uh, uh, meeting Cornelius, this man, this man of God, whom God is about to bless him and his household because of the life that he lived in devotion and commitment to God and his holy word. Verse 26 says, But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I myself am also a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many who had come together. In verse 28, Then he said to them, You know, how unlawful it is for a Jewish man to keep company with or go to one of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. <laughs> Hallelujah, may God bless you in his old word. Here we see Peter uh, explaining to Cornelius, because as you can see here, the humility of this man of great authority, bowing down before uh, one, or really from his, from his perspective, as a Roman soldier of authority, really, Peter is more common to him than, than it, it, in terms of earthly realm than anything else, if we didn't know the statue of Peter in terms of spiritual uh, anointing upon his life. But here we see this man, uh, you know, pride put aside and all these things and bow down before this Jew, this man of God, you know, because he knows who is, who he is and what he is about. So Peter here letting him know, no, don't do this because I am I'm just a man like you are. Hallelujah. We know we live in a world where we're in, <laughs> we see a lot of these people in churches. He, we can even speak of this week, uh, uh, this brother, who say he's a pastor, you know, how he go about it, want people to call him most excellency and all these prideful stuff and have people walking on their knee and bowing down before him and all these things. These things is not of God, beloved. If you see a man of God or so, one of God in the pulpit, who have people, especially those who are part of his, administra his or her administration, and they have to be cleaning his shoes and 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 carrying his bag for him, and you know they, the things they have to do before people bowing down and tie their shoes and and bowing down and and, 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 and they, that's not that's not of God. There's a lot of pride and self glory in, in in that sense. Every man and woman of God is called to be humbled and teaches others the humility that God requires to use them. So be careful if we go to anywhere we see them, there's more about self than there's more, more about humility in the presence of Almighty God. So here Peter tells this man, see, but you know, to rise up, he's a man just like him. You know, so verse 27, and as he talked with him, he went in and found many who had come together. You know, earlier we see where Cornelius had bring all of his family and friends and say, you know, this great man of God is coming, you know, and we do not know what he's about, you know, let's let's uh, come together and see what God's about to do because God let him know straight up that he's going to bless him anyway. So he just, he got to like, he, he's not selfish with this blessing. One day I love, I love what you hear, but it's calling it. Calling it says, whatever this blessing going to be, it's going to be for me and my house and all my friends. Hallelujah. So, you see, and as he talked with him, he went in and found many who had come together verse 28 then he said to them you know speaking peter speaking you he said to them you know how unlawful it is for a jewish man to keep company with or go to one another's uh, nation but god has shown me that i should not call any man common or unclean when it comes to ministry beloved the ministry of the gospel of jesus christ the ministry of love uh, without partiality without prejudice without our bigotry you cannot be a person who is filled with the Holy Spirit and want to go to nations and have any prejudice. Even in your own common neighborhood. You know, you, you, it's like you cannot have no such thing as an enemy. Let a person be an enemy unto their own self. But you liberate yourself in the freedom that if God sent you to him to minister to that person whose energy is, you know, whatever you want to be, because a lot of times it's just the devil. You know, we, you have to simply trust and obey and go and minister to that person. 
because you will be surprised a lot of time our worst enemy really actually is our best friend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So here Peter is explaining what God, what God has done for him by giving him this vision of this thing that comes down with these many different insects and all these type of things. And God tell him to kill and eat, but then he said to the Lord, No, Lord, you know, you know, you know, according to the Jewish law, I'm not supposed to do this. But the Lord let him know straight up no, you know, anything I made holy, you cannot, you should, you should not call it unholy. And as we see this here, we understand one thing about God. Anything that is in the you from having a relationship with him, anything that may be blocking you even from your blessings, God will reveal it to you. He will show you what it is so that you can submit or he will release you from it or cleanse that from your life so that you like you can be more a better uh, uh, friend of God or have a, a strong relationship with him so that you'll be liberated to freely go forth and do the work and ministry so Peter so Peter have his prejudice in him and God releases him it from, from his life as he acknowledges it before him may you beloved today in your life may if God shows you anything in your life your personal life that is in your growth, that is in your relationship with him. May you submit it to him so that you can be freed up to grow in a stronger bond and intimacy with the Almighty God so that he may fire you up for the work of evangelism and ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know we struggle with a lot of things in our life. I I have not done it recently and I know I need to get back to that point. But, you know, I remember many times when the Lord would show me things within you know the spiritual realm or show me things about my own personal life because God shows you things about your personal life when they show you about other, other people's business God show you more about you because he, he's working on you and when I see those things I, I would add I would admit to it or even if I you know I'm going down the road and I, I get a vision that something bad may happen I do not ignore it I used to say to the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit do not let it manifest Lord, do not let that manifest. Lord, do not let that manifest. Lord, do not let that manifest. So I, I learned to acknowledge these things in the spiritual realm. I don't want to, I don't anticipate to wait for them when it manifests into the physical realm. Then it's done. It's like, you know, then you're going to say, man, I, w I wish, I, I wish I did know, or I wish I did do something a bit, but you, uh, yeah, I, w I wish, I wish, no, too late. It's already happens. You know, you know, so, so, you so, as you have the relationship with Lord God, and God will show you things. And all you have to do is submit it to the Holy Spirit so that you can be more effective to the work of the kingdom of God and to his glory and your life and house and family. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So God bless you, beloved. As we continue this journey to see what Peter is going, what God is going to do to Peter's life to be a blessing to this man's house, whom God promises to bless because he has seen his worth may god also blesses you and your house and may you get a vision from him that he has seen your work your good work i will also reward you and bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ may look be beloved may i actually continue to support of his ministry and prayer for this ministry as well as for my health and strength in the mighty name of jesus christ god be with you until we meet again amen, amen.